Hey, welcome to Mount Cranberry Apiculture. It's um, about um, 24th of July, I think. Um, really cold, wet, windy day yesterday, which meant no bee work, apart from a little bit of fiddling around. Um, another beautiful sunny day. Looks like we're gonna have a week of sunny weather, so be a good chance to get in and work some hives and make some videos. First thing I'm gonna do this morning is um, take this hive from a single, which it overwintered in, up to a double. So, same as our normal spring management. Um, same thing we've been doing with these doubles, putting them into triples. First thing I'll do is just clean up this burr comb. Um, it's really important that you um, remove it and put it in a bucket. Don't leave it out for the bees to clean up. It's um, illegal in Australia to do that um, because it spreads disease, carriages robbing, all sorts of nasties. So, um, I won't bore you with that. I'll um, just stop the camera and clean this up and we'll get into um, turning this single into a double. So that's all cleaned up now. Um, this makes it a lot easier to work with. I need to be able to get the Queenie's fluter back on here as well, so had to come off. Start working through it. So the objective here is to pull any frames in here that, that are congesting the brood box up. So we want to remove honey in the first instance, like this frame, um, and pollen, and then sealed brood if we need to, but I only want to pull about four frames up, three or four. So there's a great one to pull up, frame of honey. There's another frame of honey. So as that queen backs off laying in the winter, they backfill it with honey, particularly in a single like this. So they've overrinted really well, these bees. Two frames. Slender honey. Shaking them off, but likelihood of the queen being on those frames of honey is pretty low. And we're still in the honey. So we'll find a bit of brood soon. There we go. So we'll pull that um that's a frame of honey. And we're into brood here now. Let's check it for health. That looks pretty good. Not a great pattern. That's a fairly old frame as well, which doesn't help, but we'll leave it there for the time being. So what I'll do is grab a couple of frames of couple of stickies, mark them in there, always keep that brood compact in the centre, same thing we've been doing with our doubles up the triples, so it looks healthy, not a bad pattern. Two. Three frames of brood. There's the third. It's on plastic, I'd rather have it out of there, but I'll leave it there for the time being. So we've got another frame of brood here. That's good. So that last frame will be honey and pollen. Let's push those bees down. more stickies. Tighten those frames up. So now we've got a situation, uh, we've got a frame of honey, two stickies, four frames of brood, two stickies and a frame of honey. So that keeps that brood nice and compact in the centre. Um, 
they're not busting up the brood cluster. I mean, get away with a lot more with these poly hives as well, so they're, they're really well insulated. Um, okay, so we'll put that queen excluder on. Second super. them into the middle. Put some more stickies in. So these are sort of second grade stickies that I don't want to put in the brood box but they're good for the honey super so they'll get to work with them pretty quickly. And lid on. That's done, so that's brought that um, that single up to a double, freed up space in the brood box. Uh, hopefully, um, preempted any blades to swarm. And um, the way the weather's going, we've got a nice big sunny week of sunny weather. So um, we'll be looking at these again in um, ten days to a fortnight, and making sure that they don't need any more space. So they should be okay. But um, yeah, so that's it. A single up to a double. So back on another single hive, same situation. It's directly next door to the one we just did. So once again, overwintered as a single and, and pretty heavy and, and doing well. So if we don't free up space in this brood box, um, they'll be swarming in a couple of weeks. So um, once again, the objective is to free up space, remove honey, pollen, seal brood, if that's the, that's the case. But in this, this situation, it'll just be honey. So let's get ahead and do it and get this second super on. Frame of honey. A bit early in the morning and bees are a bit stroppy, but especially after that cold day yesterday, they'll get better. More honey. And another honey. Should be enough so we'll pull this frame across still honey there not a lot of brood in this hive but they've certainly packed the honey in so we're into brood there now so be a little bit of so that's a this Leave that as it is. There's a bit of brood on that, so a um, couple of stickies in here. Pull the brood to the centre. We'll just have a little health check on it. We're not happy these bees. It's one of those warped plastic foundation frames which will eventually get out but they'll just have to stay there for the moment. Three, third frame of brood. So that looks okay. Just make sure there's no brood on this last frame. I don't want to um, put stickies between the brood cluster. Oh yeah, there's brood on that. So what I'll do is uh, grab one of these other frames of honey. And put that there, it just insulates things a little better. 
pull that across. Get our two stickies in. So, just make sure that, always make sure those honey frames, the surface of the comb isn't touching the wall. Otherwise you'll get beetles <laughs> laying eggs in there and they'll slime the hive straight away. So what we've got there now is um, frame of honey, two stickies, four frames of brood, two stickies and a frame of honey. So that brood cluster is nice and insulated in the middle um, and there's room for the queen to expand and lay. So once again, that's freed up space. Get our second super on. Just pull those honey frames in the middle. And our other stickies can go in. lid on and they're right to go so once again just to recap we've um, overwintered in a single lots of congestion in there because they've backfilled all those brood frames with honey we've lifted four frames of honey up replaced them with stickies kept that brood cluster nice and central and um, that way the queen's got room to expand and lay just with this warmer weather coming on they'll take off pretty quickly so uh, we'll need to look at this hive again in 10 days to a fortnight just to assess how they're going and um, see if we need to lift any more frames up. They should be fine for a little while. So that's it.